I'm done. I'm done. Last night, the Quiet On Set producers or the team had a huge discussion. Everybody was gonna, I guess, come together to talk about the documentary. Do you think they invited me? Do you think that they even thought about inviting me to this type of discussion? The Quiet On Set controversy has sparked criticism from participants, particularly Raquel Lee Ballo, a former child actor who appeared in the documentary series. Ballo expressed frustration over not being included in discussions following the release of the documentary, feeling sidelined by the production team after sharing her experiences. Ballo's discontent stemmed from not being asked to participate in the bonus episode or the subsequent discussion, despite being prominently featured in the original series. And let me tell you what my problem is with this industry. Quiet on set, they did the same thing that the industry always does. They get what they want from you, and then they're done. Never did they think that I would want to be at- She felt that her involvement was exploited for the documentary's narrative, without considering her perspective in shaping any potential changes. One of the key points of contention was Balo's revelation about Amanda Bynes repeatedly spitting on her during a sketch. This experience was deeply upsetting for Balo, and the inclusion of this story in the bonus episode led to further controversy, with some viewing it as a racist act. Additionally, other participants, such as Brian Hearn and his mother Tracy Brown, expressed outrage over Balo's story and highlighted instances of racism they experienced on set. A discussion like that, or a part of a discussion like that. Like, really? This has actually been a very... Furthermore, Balo's mother, Pam Penn, indicated that Balo felt marginalized compared to other cast members like Drake Bell and Amanda Bynes, suggesting favoritism by the producer, Dan Schneider. Mark Summers, another participant, also criticized the documentary, claiming he was misled about its nature and felt ambushed during his interview. The directors of the series, Mary Robertson and Emma Schwartz, denied accusations of misleading participants and asserted that they were transparent about the project's intentions. I don't have nothing else. The show, I don't want to talk about it. I'm going to get back to my family, my businesses. That's what I'm focused on. Because this industry, y'all can have it. However, the controversy surrounding Quiet On Set continues to raise questions about the ethics of documentary filmmaking and the treatment of former child actors in the entertainment industry.